Prince William seemingly sent a strong message to his estranged brother Prince Harry as the Prince of Wales hosted a garden party at Buckingham Palace. The future king hosted a Buckingham Palace garden party on behalf of King Charles and invited his cousins, Princess Beatrice, Princess Eugenie, Peter Phillips, Zara Tyndall and Mike Tyndall. Royal expert Richard Eden tweeted, I hope Prince William will be helped by his cousins when he becomes king, just as Queen Elizabeth was loyally assisted by hers, such as the Duke of Kent and Princess Alexandra. By inviting his cousins, Prince William has seemingly proved royal expert Jenny Bond's remarks that Prince Harry doesn't really exist to William as he doesn't have room in his soul. Jenny Bond told Times Radio, I don't think William gives Harry a thought. I think as far as William's concerned, Harry doesn't really exist. I think William has enough pressure on his heart and his head, with his wife undergoing cancer treatment and his father and the big job and his kids. I don't think he's got room in his soul to worry about his estranged brother. With his latest move, Prince William has seemingly also hinted at who will be his close aides when he becomes king in future and where Prince Harry stands. According to sources, Peter Phillips has been a reliable support for Prince William in recent years, especially since Harry relocated to America. He's been described as an older brother figure to William and has been actively trying to assist Catherine and William through Catherine's cancer diagnosis. Despite facing challenges in recent times, friends characterise Peter as someone who brings laughter into their lives. As the eldest child of Princess Anne and Captain Mark Phillips, Peter was not given a royal title at birth. Reflecting his parents' desire for a normal upbringing, he fondly recalls his childhood adventures with Prince William, reminiscing about the joyous times they shared during holidays spent with Queen Elizabeth II. These gatherings include other royal children creating a lively and mischievous group, despite the chaos Peter reflects on those times with fondness. Peter was reportedly deeply troubled by Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's controversial Oprah Winfrey interview, particularly as it coincided with Prince Philip's hospitalisation back in 2021. He was profoundly affected by Prince Philip's passing and shared a close bond with him. At Philip's funeral, Peter walked between the feuding brothers to prevent their rivalry from overshadowing the event. Later, he played a leading role in mourning the loss of Queen Elizabeth II. After Catherine's cancer diagnosis, Peter praised the strength of a marriage with William, highlighting their ability to balance public duties with parenthood. He emphasised the importance of being present for their children and commended their ability to strike a balance between family life and royal obligations. Amidst all the whispers and side-eyes, Peter comes out swinging for Team Wales, praising their composure under the relentless public scrutiny. Catherine in particular receives high praise, being described as nothing short of remarkable by Peter. He told Sky News Australia, Her and William make a fantastic team together. Their kids are great, and they have the balance of public life and trying to be parents to three young children, which is always difficult. I think as history's taught us, and anyone knows, you actually want to be there for your children when they're of a certain age. You want to be able to go drop them off at school and pick them up from school and go and watch matches and be a part of their school lives. And I think that balance of doing the family life and also the public life, I think they've pretty much got that bang on.